Hello everybody, it's Gail here from Ornamentology again. I thought I'd talk to you a bit more about another one of the journals that I've created. This is another one in the Alice series and it's again the downloaded um, um, graphics for this are from the lady that I purchased her download PDFs from Etsy. So this is what I've done with this one. Again, I kind of got into this printing on uh, fabric. So it's the same sort of idea. I've done it with um, this linen union. This is a more kind of monochrome idea and I call it Dark Alice. Um, it's a more flexible journal cover this time. So it's a bit gothic-y. I've done a nice dark bow because, you know, who doesn't need a dark bow on their journal really? So here she is. So I've made it out of uh, packaging um, paper and it's a bag that I had something arriving from Amazon and I just slit the bag, turned it inside out and I've stitched it round with zigzag and straight stitch. Uh, there's a little, there's a pocket in the front for you to put your things in and there's a pocket here and here should you wish to tuck other things in. I have um, a label that opens out it's a sheet of paper you can write on it do whatever you like again this is um this gray mottledy paper i had some black currant tea bags they looked amazing in the cup but actually they were tasteless it's often the case isn't it this is um, a postcard that you can write on the back of with just a bit of information about books and recycling and recycled books really there's an inclusion i'll come to that directly so this is a slightly different way of doing a journal. It's a soft wrinkly cover. I love the feel of it and the sound of it. But this is a removable journal. So there's an eyelet top and bottom and an elastic. And then you can actually, when the journal's complete, let me find the middle, you can take it out. Or you could just take the journal out and leave the cover at home, whatever works for you. So I've gone with this kind of slightly gothic inspired Alice situation. Here she's with an extremely long neck. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. And as you can see, the font is similar to the other Alice font because it's the same lady that's made it. And this time I've used my own paper and printed her uh, her images on my paper so this is um a turmeric dyed paper the house smelt wonderful when i was doing this and uh, some little labels that i put on tea dyed card with some trim on the bottom to add to the most bonkers um idea of overblown and over decorated victoriana journal pages that have been dyed i think this is um by the looks of it it's avocado dye some more um i did some made some marigold tea which basically marigold flowers infused in water let it steep overnight strain it away thank you very much and then dyed my paper with it um if you've seen the other alice video you'll notice that the actual images are the same images they, these are just in black and white and gray and yellow so i've added those to my own tea dyed papers because they kind of complement them quite well i also used some of the tickets um, that were in the expansion pack to just make these little this little covered paper clip so you can just move this around this is um, a different paper it's quite harsh and crinkly i quite like the different textures of the papers um but it's all kind of responding to the colourway of the um, PDF that I downloaded. But it works really nicely, I think. Um, here's the rabbit. Um, another little wraparound tag this time. I found some white paper clips in the collection and put a little bit of black rick rack braiding on here. It just appealed to me. It kind of looked a bit nutty and it kind of worked, I thought. Um, again, you can write jots on there if you want to. You do whatever you want with it, really. You can put these labels on your parcels if you want to or give them away to your friends. This paper was something that um, came about when I did um, an acquisitions register for my fine art degree. And it's a book. It was a bound book that I made for my fine, final end of year show. And it's just sitting there. The paper's a waste. It's lovely paper. It feels really lovely. It's got a nice texture to it. So I'm taking the pages out and dyeing those. This yellow paper comes from a 1970s recipe book where you, you know, you put your own recipes in it. But this, the book that I found in the charity shop, had only got three or four in. Obviously, they ran out of enthusiasm or something. I don't know. Um, there's a couple of those pages because I just quite like the contrast of yellow. Uh, more um, turmeric dyed paper. A bit more Alice on my own tea dyed paper. I dyed the tea dyed paper on something latticey and it as it dried it made it have this really funky um effect i don't know if you can see it it's kind of lattice crisscross uh more ledger paper i'm at the middle now i bound this uh with some black ribbon because it just seemed like the right thing to do these little lumps and bumps here are patina from the thing the tray that i used to soak it in so we're past the middle so we're kind of now at the bit where we're seeing the other sides of the pages 
that we've just looked at um, and again they sort of fold out you've got plenty of room for writing and jotting I made another one of these um, journal cards with the elongated Alice and put a bit of frou-frou on the bottom and used the die cutting uh, machine that got second hand why would I not have a second hand one it's, there's so many resources that I've just wasted and it's perfectly adequate uh, it does the job a treat it's not the most trendy model but I don't care it's actually quite resplendent it's a bit of a black thing with a pink candle don't ask me what that's about obviously it was all the rage when they made them so these are made out of um some pay some acetate sheet that I got from Freecycle. It's a whopping great roll of it and it's uh, used as, uh, was used as architect design paper back in the day before computers, I don't doubt. And this one, I just put it through twice and made a little um, flower indent in it. And this is some paper that I printed myself whilst I was um, using my gel plate print. And it worked with the colourway, so I made some bottles for that. I don't know what I imagine you're going to do with these. You could punch a hole in them and use them as uh, tags for something. You could stick them on here and use them as a tuck spot. You know, I've left a little bit to your imagination because it's an interactive journal and you need to be interacting with it, I imagine. So let me just pin those back in there before I they wander off and have an adventure all of their own. So there's more pages to come. Again, that really crinkly paper that I quite like. This is avocado dyed, but I just liked the way it looked um, with the design. More tip out little bits, more pages until we get to the back where this is the back of the envelope. I kind of printed the page out and then I've got more envelope than I've got page. So I turned it over and made it into a double pocketed took spot um some postcards from the download again it's got pockets here pockets here and a little pocket here so there's plenty of places to tuck the things that you gather on your adventures because you know it's an interactive journal isn't it and you want to be putting your own things in it really i'll just twizzle that around there and put it sort of just out of shot this comes with an inclusion it's more of the downloaded paper i used my um crocodile thing to put in an eyelet bit of black ribbon just to keep a bit of consistency and it's got an alarm clock on it because you know it's the white rabbit he's late i'm always late i don't wear a watch that's probably why um there's a a tag here that i've chosen to use as a tuck spot it's just very elegant and it just seemed to do the job bit more paper from the uninspiring blackcurrant tea stable um some more graphics from the lovely lady from um etsy i printed out some uh, more of these tickets uh there was quite a strip of them and i've used them as this little belly band thing um this was a bit of a misfire my printer it's just an ordinary domestic one and it had a bit of a moment when it i don't know it had a bit of a collie wobble so i've used that took this end up and used it again for another little ticket that you can write something on or reutilize it for something of your own this opens up so that you can just see this beautiful image it's just lovely and why would you not want to leave that as it is? I would, did think about putting something here, but I thought, no, we'll just leave it. You can always clip something there with a paper clip of your own if you so choose. There's a bigger pocket here that I've utilised one of the postcards for. Um, I quite like actually leaving some of the imagery available for you to see. A bit more paper should you need to write a letter to someone. Do people still write letters? I hope so. It'd be a shame if they didn't. Um, a couple of tags printed um on my own tea dyed paper no two of the no two backs are the same because you know i just splosh it on there leave it to dry overnight and it's all rather marvelous this was the uh, from the same sheet when the printer had a moment of ludicrousness so i just turned this over and made it into a tuck spot for you to put your finds and loveliness that you gather along your journeys and adventures and this just folds up wraps around here thus the way and just fits into your journal it doesn't have a envelope to fit itself in because you know i don't want to do all the journals in a formulaic way the idea is that it's an experience and you find little places and whatnots as you go along and it uh it, you know it just stimulates you to and piques your interest to find things to tuck in and the like. I haven't put playing cards in because it seemed a bit ordinary and you may have interesting playing cards of your own that you want to um, maybe stick paper on the back of and use as journaling spots. They'll be appearing in other journals, I'm sure. So it's got this little bit of trim that was left over in my, in my little bits 
box you can imagine what it's like here i've got a big box of haberdashery that's not quite long enough to whirl around a hat but too good to throw away so the sizes it's 19 and a half centimeters which is about seven and a half inches in old money tall and 14 centimeters this way about five and a half inches altogether it's available i can post it out to you i will be bringing it to my event in newark that i'm doing at the end of uh, may so I look forward to seeing you all there with hats and all sorts of usual loveliness um so if you're interested in purchasing this or you want to have another look at it please view the thingamajiggy doodle again the little film look again um it's available now so if you'd like me to post that out to you i can um in a jiffy bag or something and i may even add some other bits and bobs in there just to to give you something to fiddle with when you get it anyway enough of me going on thank you so much for your time and interest and uh, i hope you found that entertaining take good care of yourself and i'll see you on the next one goodbye now